animal behavior is absolutely fantastic. I found this to be riveting, enlightening, funny, very well animated. Really thoroughly enjoyed this. This was released in 2018, directed and written by David Fine and Alison Snowden. And we have three these anthropomorphized animals who are having a group therapy session. The session is run by the presumably psychologist dog. And we have all of these different characters. There's a pig and a leech. There's a cat who licks its butthole. And the animation of that I thought was absolutely fantastic. And they're all discussing their various problems. And the problems are actually very cleverly chosen. They all do kind of relate to the animals themselves. And I thought that, that was very effective. And then this gorilla character comes in. And he's very standoffish and not really willing to talk. He doesn't actually think he has a problem. He doesn't really want to be there. But over time, he opens up and we find out more about him and in some very interesting ways. What I love about this, well, there are several things I love about this. The first, I love the style of animation. It works brilliantly. It's beautiful. It's quite soft and easy to watch visually. It's really stunning. Loved, as I said, the cat licking its own butthole. The characters are so diverse. We have a range of animals that definitely couldn't cohabit, but we have a range of animals with very different problems. And I think that that means there's probably at least one character in this that we can all relate to. There were two or three that I could relate to, but there will be at least one character with whom you identify on some level. You can kind of envision yourself in this scenario. It makes it a little bit more immersive when you can actually imagine one of the characters. It's a lot more representative as well. And the other thing I love about this is how honest it is about mental health. You know, I, as somebody who's got mental health problems and, and has I have done my entire life, I kind of like it when cartoons tackle this with comedy. Because it is funny. It's very funny. But it doesn't act flippantly towards the mental health problems. And I think that that's something that's really important but also the characters themselves sometimes are not that nice to other characters when they mention their certain problems and i think that that's a genuine reception that a lot of people can face i don't want to give an example i don't want to give away too much information because it's only about 12 or 13 minutes but it shows that certain mental health problems people still maybe scoff at or roll their eyes at or don't think are real problems some of the characters say this to the other characters and it is representative of the kind of stigma that people will face when they open up but the dog the leader of the group has such a positive encouraging attitude that i don't think this would put anybody off from going to group therapy personally i hate the idea of group therapy but actually watching this i thought you know what i can, I can see the benefit i can genuinely see the benefit of group therapy because there is this sense that Problems are all different, but you're not alone. Even though somebody else's struggle is different to yours, the turmoil can still be the same. And it did kind of make me think, maybe group therapy is not that bad. Of course, as things develop or escalate for some of the characters, I think my opinion went back to what it was before. But it did make me think about it as a concept. And if this begins to, you know, to trigger the thought for somebody that maybe they could benefit from group therapy and then they go to group therapy and benefit from it. That is amazing. Cartoons are so powerful and because they're cartoon and because these are anthropomorphized animals, while we can relate to them, we don't feel like they are instructing us. At no point did I think that this was telling me to go to group therapy, but that is something that I can get out of it. It's less direct because it's cartoon, it's animation, and they're animals, although they're anthropomorphized, they are animals rather than humans. We're disconnected enough that we can relate but distance ourselves. And we can still feel like we're learning and getting benefit from it without feeling like we're being instructed. And if you have any kind of mental health issue, you may agree with me that the last thing you want is to people for people to tell you exactly what you need to do, especially when it's not what you want or not what you're in the right frame of mind for. I absolutely adored it. I did think it was hilarious. It was well thought out. It was sensitive in the right ways. It was raw and honest about attitudes towards various different mental health problems. 
and uh, related attitudes. The mix of animals was really great. It worked very well and I would love, absolutely love for this to be a full series. I would love that. I don't know if that's ever going to happen, if they have any plans to do any more of these, but if anybody ever commissions Animal Behaviour for a full series, I will absolutely watch it. I just... I truly, truly adored it. If you haven't seen it, and you like funny, clever, emotive, thought-provoking animation, Animal Behaviour is absolutely one to watch.